I've recently watched a cooking show and the biscotti was shaped or rather arranged to resemble a beehive and later that day I came across a basketball bag from LV. I initially saw the ball but later on saw the beehive so you already know how this bag came to be. If the silhouette is quirky enough to be a $4,000 bag from LV, I think it will be something if I make a beehive bag. sketching the back. I was already having fun just thinking about the process I will go through weaving the jute sack twine and the copper wire. I got myself excited after I finished the sketch. Immediately the following day I started the armature and thought of using wood as an element to add more character to the back. As if it hasn't had enough already. and the jute sack twine gave me a challenge in weaving. Weaving the material through the armature, weaving the copper wire was a hard one because the material isn't soft enough for it to be easily weaved like a thread and likewise the jute sack gave me a hard time because it's too soft that it cost me a longer time to finish all of the parts. Then again, it was always exciting every time I finished a part. This emblem. I thought that it didn't seem like it supported the beehive character of the bag. Not until I finished painting the black lacquer and weaving the copper wire to resemble the queen's wings that it really looked like a beehive. Well, at least I think I did.
seemed we've done after more than a month of working with it. It is time to add in the leather parts. I also designed it to resemble the shape of the chambers to unify the character of the bag. Sewing through the leather pieces and the wire was very very satisfying. It felt as though I was building a Lego piece with which every piece added to the the joy of the entire process of the assembly. Of course, I also had a hard time putting the glaze on the edges of the small leather pieces. Not that it was really that hard, you know, but the time and the patience I gave applying and then sanding and applying and go through it over and over again until it really exhausted me. I decided to place another wood element as the cover of the bag to round up the emblem at the front of the bag. It was another challenge since I needed to find the best technique to attach the wood cover to the bag. making a continuous piece of leather as the inside pocket and extend it to the base of the inside of the bag and sew it through the wire. Problem solved! of the hardware of the bag I had to choose between using silver or bronze using bronze color for the hardware added an antique vibe to the bag's aesthetics the grand finale was placing the queen bee as the clasp of the bag it really looked like a bee on the hive
have to say if you have time observe nature and study its beauty most brilliant ideas come from nature's gentle whispers